Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you five local SEO tips that'll help rock your rankings to the top of the Google three pack. Watch this. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do, step one, is you want to download uh, uh, this Chrome extension called GMB Everywhere. It is fabulous. You can't start local SEO without using this Chrome extension GMB Everywhere. I can't say enough good things about it. It is totally awesome. All right, so, and it's free. So just go to GMB everywhere and install the Chrome extension. Once you install the Chrome extension, then when, when you do a search, for example, I did bankruptcy lawyer, right? And this is what you see. You see the basic audit, the review audit, and the post audit. We're just going to concern ourselves with the first one right here, which is a basic audit. So I will click basic audit. And what we want to do right here is we want to see the categories that the, the uh, people that are ranking in the Google three pack are using. So the category for, for bankruptcy lawyer is lawyer, bankruptcy attorney, general practice attorney, law firm. All right. You could read, you, you don't need me to do this, but then all we want to do is just copy that and we can paste it in a little notepad just to keep some notes. So, First thing we want to do, download GMB everywhere, right? Awesome, awesome tool. And once that's installed, all you do is just go to the top three and click basic audit. You can't start a, um, a GMB campaign without knowing what categories, what GMB categories your competition is using. You need this tool it's free get it right now please all right the link is going to be in, going to be in the description below all right guys so step two is the really easy part all you're going to do is you're going to log into your google my business you get there by going to business.google.com all right then you just sign in you'll appear at a page like this click info on the left hand side right here and then these are your Google My Business categories. These are mine. Remember when I said before, you're going to copy and put in Notepad the categories of your competition? Okay, so this is where it is. Now you just come in, you hit the, I don't want to mess around with my categories. Not that I really mind, but I, I don't want to mess around with it. So you'll hit this little pen right here, and you'll just paste in these categories right so lawyer will be your first one bankruptcy you know whatever your industry is if you're a plumber or electrician or you're a doctor right you, you get the idea so you're going to paste in those those uh categories right i told you this was easy all right let's let's hang out for step uh for step three all right, guys, I'm sorry if you hear snoring in the background. I have the most tired dog in the world. I'll show maybe I'll show them at the end. All right. So remember the GMB categories we spoke about in the last in the last section. These are the GMB categories, right? We put the GMB categories in our Google My Business in our GMB. Well, now we need to take the same categories. and We need to make category pages. So in your first link, this is where all your GMB categories go. Now, their main GMB category is lawyer. So for lawyer, their first GMB category, everything on your homepage has to be about, has to be about uh, uh, the GMB category lawyer. Now, this could be another lesson as to how to set the pages up, but I just want you to get the idea. This is a 500 foot um, view uh, video so you're able to understand the concept right so everything on your home page is about your first GMB category your second GMB category which is bankruptcy attorney should be your first link 
right here. It shouldn't be home. It shouldn't be about us. It shouldn't be meet the team. Your first link right here should be your second GMB category. Your third GMB category, general practice attorney, should be your second one. And law firm should be your third one, so on and so forth as this goes on, right? Okay. Now we need to come up with content for each page. I'm going to show you a really cool way to get content and uh, you'll be able to do it. You can get it done in a, in a day or two. All right, guys, this is super simple. We're heading into step four. You're loving it. So all we do is we take this little notepad that we have here and remember our number one GMB category, which was lawyer. We put it into Google, right? And now we want to see the words, the keywords that are in bold that Google think that are important to the word uh, lawyer, to the, to the GMB category lawyer, right? Because those were our, that's our number one GMB category. So if I'm setting up a home page, I want to know what words to use on that page. Okay, well, look at this. A person who practices law, right? I open up a Google Sheet and say a person who practices law, lawyers, and I'll just copy some of the keywords that are in bold. See that? Then what I'll do is I'll take, this is how crazy I am. You want to know how crazy I am? I'm going to take some of these words like lawyer, Sally, lawyer, right? Not lawyer movie, but I'll take like types of lawyers, uh, how to become a lawyer. Whatever is popular, you know, whatever, whatever they see is related. And this is how sick I am. I'll put it in here too. Nuts, right? So what I could do is I could write articles about these sections, or I could use them as my H1s or H2s. For example, let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. I was on American Idol. Nah, I wasn't. All right, so, right, those are my H1s and H2s and, you know, all the different types of tags. So, right, so I could, I could get that information right here, or I could use these in bold here, right, how to become a lawyer, pronoun, lawyer pronounce it, right, five sentences about it, lawyer description. And what I could do is I could just put those in the text some, somewhere here, just like that, right? Okay. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get for each page. This is my lawyer. This is my home page. I want to get a bunch of really focused content and, 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 and keywords rather keywords that Google is looking for to say, Hey, for lawyer, these are the things that are most important. And really the only way that you could honestly, at least at no charge for free is to just go to Google and see what they see as important right? Just to see what they see as important. All right. So let's move over to the next step, which is step five. And you're going to love this step. You're going to love it. And then I'm going to show you maybe step six. I'm going to show you a picture. I'm going to show you uh, my dog. All right, guys. So this is step five. I want you to go over to this website called phrase.io. What phrase does is it scours the web right? And it finds for each category or each keyword that you're trying to write content for, it comes up with a bunch of questions that you should have on your website. So for example, what I used to do years ago is that I would want, I want to rank for the keyword lawyer. I would go over to a writer like, uh, you know, somebody on iWriters or I would hire somebody from Upwork and I would just say, Hey, uh, write me uh, 500 words or a thousand words on 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 lawyers. Well, they were lost and they it wasn't very good direction. So they would just write me a beautiful piece of content, the lawyer, but it, it never ranked. What Google wants to do is Google wants to see, and this is 80% of SEO. Google wants to see that you have proper content that answers the user's question. So for example, if somebody's looking for a bankruptcy lawyer, Google wants to send the, the, the person doing the search to the best website that has content for 
um, uh, bankruptcy law, right? So what a lot of SEOs would say is uh, just write the best content. There's a real thin, uh, real thin bald guy with a green background that says that all the time. Just write the best content. And uh, I, 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 it took me years to figure out how to write the, the best content. And this is how you do it. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the ways to do it. So you could use this program. It's called phrase.io. I believe you get 10 searches. You could do 10 keywords uh, for free. I don't know if that's a month. I have the paid version. So, you know, I don't know. But, but you could get started with this. So just go over to phrase and type in, um, let's, we're just going to type in the GMB category, which is lawyer, right? Let me just make sure it's, law, it's lawyer, not lawyers. Yeah, lawyer, lawyer. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just hit whatever I hit there, start. And what phrase does is it actually just goes through the web and it comes up with the best questions. But not only that, not only that, it'll also let you know uh, how many images to use on that page, right? So look at this, seven. You should have seven images on your homepage. This is how many words you need. You need at least 1,300 words. These are different questions. This is a fab, you know, fa fantastic tool. And like I said, they give you like 10 searches a um, um, for free. So this should be good enough for anybody who's, you know, working on their website by themselves. You know, you're just trying to create your own website and you need some good questions. There you go. So here's questions. These are all the questions that you need to ask, that you need to ask. How do I find an attorney in my state? Uh, uh, how to complain about a lawyer? What are the main duties of a lawyer? Right? Uh, I need to hire a lawyer, a notary's public. Like these are all the questions that people are asking. So you need to put these questions on your website and you need to answer them. Well, you may say to yourself, well, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to answer those questions. Great. Go over to, and there's a lot of different writing sources. If you want to use iWriter, I'm just trying to show you the least expensive way to do it. There's other writing services that are really, you know, great, but for $20, buy the $20 package, the highest package here, because if you buy the $5 package, you're not going to be able to read it. And, and um, just write and just, just order them. Once you get the article back, take these keywords and sprinkle them in your article. Right? Sprinkle them in your article. So you're going to give them a whole bunch of questions to answer in phrase, and then you're going to sprinkle in some of the some of the questions guys i really hope you like this lesson i really wish that somebody had done a lesson like this when i first started because you know the lessons were really obscure i i can't tell you how many times you know i watched seos talk about the best all i had to do was write the best content and i had no idea what that meant so I think this video was, was was good. I showed you how to get the GMB category, steal them from your competition. I showed you how to steal them from your competition, how to put it in your uh, the GMB categories in your in your Google My Business, where to add them in your website, how to get some keywords, and how to write content. I did it all. I did it all at no charge. <laughs> so I'm glad I was able to help you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you found this video helpful, like this video. I also have a, um, a donation, a donation link. If you'd like to donate to my channel, that's fine. Uh, there's a donation link below. I also have a, uh, you could donate in crypto if you'd like to. Bitcoin is taking a tumble today, but it's going to come back. It's going to come back. So if you'd like to, uh, donate cryptocurrency that that's fine or cash or Whatever, whatever easiest for you, or if you don't have that, feel free to just share it maybe on your Facebook or your Twitter or something like that. That's great. So as promised, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you Schwartz. So I called him, I named him Mr. Schwartz. He was named after my uh, ninth grade gym teacher. If you've ever watched any 80s gym uh, uh, movies, high school movies about the gym teacher, the gym teacher was always like the biggest jerk, 
I could probably say this guy's probably dead. It was 40 years ago. So, I mean, I hope he's not, but the guy was a jerk. And uh, I said, man, if I ever get a muscular dog, I'm going to name him Mr. Schwartz. So that's what I call my dog. I call my dog Mr. Schwartz. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, but, uh, uh, but all right. The, the only but is that in the beginning, I was, I was feeding him dried dog food. And the dog food made his breath smell so bad that he stunk out my whole living space. Like it was, it was terrible. But now I cook his own food the past, I don't know, six months, eight months or so. I cook his own food. I make him sweet potatoes and, and beef. Sometimes I throw some salmon in it. So wait, I'm just going to, I hope I don't make you dizzy. I'm going to take this off. So this way you could see him. Schwartzy, say hello. Say hello. Say hello, Schwartz. So... Uh, there he is. So I call him Mr. Schwartz, and then I guess because I'm from New York, there's a lot of Jewish people there. I call him Schwartz also. Sometimes I call him Schwartzy. Yeah, right? So he's a good boy. He keeps me company all day. And uh, even when I'm in a bad mood, he still comes by and sits with me. And, and uh, oof, his breath. But he's a, good, he's a good dog. He's an American bully. And I've had him about a year, a little over a year, and uh, he's, a good, he's a good boy. So guys, be good to your family, be good to your dog, clean up around your house, kiss your wife, be appreciative, right? And good things are going to happen to you. I, I guarantee you this is your year. You're watching this video, I only get two or three hundred people watch my videos. If you're watching this video, I, I guarantee you good things are going to happen to you this year, right? So uh, rock it out, and we'll catch you... Uh, Probably catch you on Wednesday. All right. Be cool. Bye. Come on, Schwartz.